The Allegheny Journal has found Delegate Terry Austin, who represents the Allegheny Hounds of Todd in Allegheny County, and we're here at the Lumos announcement at DSLCC. But that's not why we wanted to speak with him. Delegate Austin, within the last couple of weeks, you've had a historic change in the future of Virginia government. What does it mean to have control of the House with the Republican Party in charge now? Well, Jerry, it, brings, it means stable government. Uh, one body form of government, fully democratic control, uh, did not lend itself well to advancing the Commonwealth in a, what I perceive a responsible fashion. Um, you know, I think the, the constituents of the 19th House District expressed their concerns. They voted wisely. Uh, you know, we, we elected a, uh, Glenn Youngkin as our governor, Winston Sears as our lieutenant governor, Jason Muir as our attorney general, all Republicans. I was re-elected with a 77 or 78 percent margin here in Allegheny County. You beat me to the, and I my thank question. I thank everyone for that. Uh, I very much appreciate and, and really like supporting and representing Allegheny County and the legislature. But uh, most importantly, we'll get back to a stable form of government and advancing the Commonwealth in jobs and economic opportunities and quality of life and education. And uh, that's where we want to be in government. Functionally, when one party has control of the House, does that mean that the chairman of the various committees are of that party? And what what is what does that mean in terms of legislation? The the ideas may get a little better presentation, or is it going to be a much more back and forth situation like we've seen now? You know, and at least in the last couple of years, it's been pretty, at times, raucous, hasn't it? Yes, yes. Well, Jerry, one, one party government means anything that the majority party wants to put forward can advance. It can advance through the House, it'll then advance over to the Senate, where they're to pass and to go on to the governor for signature. Now we'll have uh, debative legislation. You know, it, it'll have to be good legislation to advance. It, if it's re Republicans control the House, the bill may advance in the House, but when it gets over to the Senate, the Senate has Democratic control. So that bill there then may die. Or if it gets through, the governor can veto it if he so desires. So, you know, we have a checks and balances. We have checks and balances in life. We have checks and balances in our families. And now we'll have them in government where they need to be. We have it on our local board of supervisors, you know. So we're back to a, a better form of government, I think, Jerry. So. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. As always, Jerry, we appreciate what the Allegheny Journal does for our neighborhood, our community, and for myself. Thank you, Jerry.